people are panicking because of leaked SBCs that are coming out over the next couple of days, but you don't have to. You can actually capitalize on all these panic sellers, and I'm gonna show you exactly how. Welcome to Trading to Glory. If you're looking for cheap and safe EAFC24 coins, look no further than u4gm.com and use my code ELITE, E-L-Y-Y-T, for 5% off at checkout. Today we're covering three main topics, and the first is going to be panic selling. Cards like this and that are getting panic sold because of a leaked SBC, and realistically they shouldn't be. So you could make some opportunity on a rebound there. The second is of course going to be team of the week number four, which is taking up most of my transfer list right now, and that's an understatement. And then third is going to be a fodder investment opportunity. We saw fodder go up a ton. GG's if you made a lot of profit on that, but we might be able to do it again here in the next couple of days. Let's get started. And boys, I'm gonna set a very high like goal for today. Can we smash 800 likes on today's video? That would be insane. A few days back, we had a new pack added to the code, a max 87 base hero player. Sounds awfully like an SBC to me. And normally these SBCs come out on Monday. Now there is a leak from Foot Police Leaks who is actually wrong about the Declan Rice SBC coming out on Saturday. So take this with a huge grain of salt. He says coming out on Sunday, which is today. I don't know because honestly, ever since we saw that leak, I've been saying Monday and I'm gonna stick with that. But if we get it today, then awesome. You know, more content for us on Sunday. But that's causing a big market crash for these hero cards. If you take a look at Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who will inevitably be one of the cards that people can probably pack a little easier. He's a card that's going for 38,000 coins right now. But over the course of the last couple of weeks, 66k before that first crash got back up to 63k and that was just a few days ago. That was this week. And even on Friday, he was 56,000 coins. So over the course of the last 48 hours, this card has dropped from 56k to 38k, which is a very significant margin. And he's not the only one. Demarcus Beasley, which is a more usable card, and there are some links to USA players this year, especially with the women's added. But if you look at Demarcus Beasley, he's a card that was 110,000 coins, now looking at 82k. Dimitar Berbatov, a player in the Premier League, a lot of people like using. He's got that um, he's got that uh, playstyle plus of first touch. This card was about 91,000 coins on Tuesday. He is now 60,000 coins. And then for the higher budget guys, you have Ramirez, who was about a million coins on Tuesday, and over the last couple of days has dropped a little bit down to 900,000 coins. But here's the thing, everybody's going to get to do this SBC one time when it comes out, and it's going to be untradeable. The odds that you pack the card you want to pack, even if it's a low rated card, very, very slim. You're not going to get the one you want most likely, which means that everybody who's panic selling these cards are likely going to go back and buy them back onto the market. So when we do get this SBC, I'm expecting a big spike on these cards immediately after the SBC drops. That's when you could actually sell those cards for profit and buying is kind of right now. And now that we picked up one of Solskjaer and one Berbatov, and they are not limited to these hero cards. Those are just two examples. Let's talk about Informs, which are where most of my coins are at. I picked up a Valverde just about 30 minutes ago for 748,000 coins. I've got a few Coman for about 140K. I've got quite a few Aubameyang for about 29,000 coins. He gets that link to the new uh, Ismail Asar SBC. And then Sterling gets a good link to the Declan Rice SBC which is still tentative. Could drop today, could drop tomorrow. We'll see. I have no idea when that SBC is going to come out, but I'm prepared for when it does. So we've got a lot of coins tied up in these Team of the Week cards. And for anybody who did watch yesterday's episode, I'm here to tell you, hold these cards. They will not be their highest on Sunday. A lot of these cards might have some random spikes, but overall, we're going to see Monday and Tuesday very kind to us as these cards continue to rise. So if you got in on Sterling, if you got in on Valverde, uh, Coman, or Aubameyang as the metas, those cards should continue to rise for the next 48 hours. So hold. But we also have two other cards that are also rising with them because of fodder. That is Malinkovic Savage and Lukaku. Malinkovic Savage was actually one of the investments that I was thinking about making, I didn't make it and I regret not making it because his card has been rising significantly and consistently over the last few hours. As you guys can see, he got down to 24,000 coins after he dropped pretty hard at content release yesterday or on Friday that is, and he has only been rising ever since and he's gone from 23,000 coins 
Wentz to 29. And I'll be quite honest with you guys, he's going to keep going. I'm almost tempted to buy at 29 because not only is he the only 87 rated fodder for informs, but we're also going to get more SBCs before we even get a new team of the week. So this card should get into the mid 30s most likely. Even if you're late, that's an investment that I think you could probably get in on and still make profit. It's not going to be the most profit, but it'll still be profit. And it's a card that's pretty safely going to continue to rise. Now, Lukaku is a little bit closer to what he was at at his lowest point, which was like 21,000 coins. But as you guys can see, he actually got down to 19,000 coins for a few hours. I've been seeing him at 21 a lot, and now he's getting up to about 24. His card probably still has a couple thousand coins to rise as well. You're looking at, uh, you know, buying these cards, you're making one to 2K after tax by Tuesday, but it's something. And if you're still holding on to gold metas, you could probably hold that for another 24 hours at least as well as those normally peak on Monday or Tuesday. I'd stay away from the Trailblazers cards. But let's head in now to fodder cards. 84 rated are still at their discard price. If you're getting on bid for 1.1, you're looking decent. It's no risk, but it might just be slow. And that's something that we've been talking about as an investment for low budget people that don't want to take a risk. 84s will eventually go up, but we got to see the 85s and 86s go up first. And 86s have started to go up from eight to 9,000 coins. There's still a lot more room for them to rise. If they drop this 87, max hero upgrade and it requires several squads between 84 and 86 maybe 87 you're going to see these 85 and 86 rated cards rise so getting 85s for as close to 4,000 coins as you can is a very safe and probably very effective investment for you guys I'm really liking 85s right now 86s are not bad either once you get a little higher than that you're in territory of cards that have already gone up quite a bit not to say that they can't go higher though because 89s at um 35k we've got one of those cards that is a fodder card out of packs and we've got a couple more fodder cards actually entering into fodder like Alex Morgan, Mappy Leon, and Ter Stegen who weren't fodder a few days ago now they are 88 rated cards are at 20,000 coins and there's quite a difference between the 88 rated and 89 rated prices so 88s might not even be bad either to be honest boys I really think that if you're still holding fodder you can continue to hold for most of these cards we've still got a huge upgrade SBC that's going to push this fodder even higher and I would just wait until then. I've got one more huge leaked SBC and we have the mini release but we've also got to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. 75% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. Make sure you're not one of them. But as I said, the mini release is going to be okay. We've got a couple cards here like Henderson and Dante that don't look too great but these stats are just predictions and maybe EA boost them a little bit higher. But what we're looking at here, they're not that desirable. Matoma, on the other hand, I can get behind. Incredible pace, incredible dribbling. Hopefully they give him usable shooting, physicality, and he's going to have great passing as well. And these cards do hit a low point about seven to nine hours after the release of their card, just like the cards do on Friday. Gives us another opportunity to get in on some of these investments. In Kapie last week did this. He started at about, you know, 100,000 coins or 80,000 coins, I guess I should say. Got all the way down to about 46 for a couple of hours and then spiked into the night all the way back up to 72,000 coins, which is an incredible rise. I don't know if that's going to happen like that like it did last week. That is a huge rise, but it's something that we can base our investments today off of. The uh, Sunday night flipping could be in effect. And we've got Blanc as an SBC coming as an icon. Of course, we saw David Beckham last week and his card was already kind of bad value. And now that fodder has gone up in price, it's even worse value that David Beckham SBC. I'm worried that they're going to make Blanc a little bit too expensive because fodder has risen and maybe they haven't accounted for that yet. But we will see. Nonetheless, He's going to have a lot of play styles that make him a little bit more redeeming. 78 pace is okay. 90 defense and 85 physicality is what you're paying for. It's not going to be too bad. I don't know what they're going to price it at, though. And I really don't think that there's too many compliment links that are going to go up because of an icon SBC because they already get full chemistry anyway. That's it for today's video, guys. If you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and comment Hero SBC Hype down below. And I'll make sure to drop a heart on every single person who comments that below. I really appreciate you guys making it to the end of the videos don't forget to subscribe as i said like the video we're going for 800 and i'll see you again tomorrow oh and go ahead and click on that video there's another great video just sitting right there you can click on it right now peace out